Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Priyandra Kumar. In this video, you will learn how to create an animated speedometer chart in Microsoft Excel. So as you are seeing my screen, I have created these three speedometer chart which is connected with this service level value and these are animated chart. If I will change the value of this service level, let's say here I am taking 85% in place of 75 then you can see an animation here and the numbers which is the data labels also changing in animated way and i have put this animation on the seed activation also if i will activate this seed which is animated speedometer then you can see an animation here so as soon as somebody will activate this worksheet this animation will run now I'll tell you how can you create this chart. You can use this in your business dashboard. It can make your dashboard more attractive. So now let me go to the new workbook. I'll create a new workbook here. I'll press Ctrl N. So this is the new workbook. This is the seat bun. Let's say here I'm taking service level and I'll show my service level value here. For example, I'm taking 85%. You can take your own matrix. Now we have to put few support columns here. Here I am taking the service level value, the same value which is 85% on N1 and now I will take few other columns that is first one I will take filled area or only filled. Then I will take semi filled and then I will take blank. Alright, in the field we will take the service level value. So we will take this value which is N1. I'll tell you why I'm taking the service level value here on N1. I'm not taking from here. So in the semi field, we will take 100% minus this value. In the blank part, we will take default 50%. So the sum of these three should be 150%. I'll select this data. Then I will create a donor chart here. So just select this, go to the insert charts and I will insert a donor chart this one so here you can see this donut is available now we will change the size like this you can remove the chart title from here select and press delete here you can see the filled area is this one which is blue semi filled is this one which is orange and blank is gray select this donut right click go to the format data series here in the series option we will make some changes first of all we will take the angle of first slice as 240 degree then donut hole size we will take around 40 or 45 let's say i'm taking 45 all right now i will remove the legion from here just check the legion select this donut first of all i would like to remove shape outline from this donut so i'll go to the format and will take shape outline as no outline for this gray which is for blank just double click on this and just go to the fill and line and fill it as no fill then for this semi fill take the white fill or some lighter gray fill so take solid fill and here i'm just taking this lighter gray now for this filled area we will take some gradient fill this is some default gradient is available choose the gradient from preset gradients so i'll take let's say this one or you can take any other so i'm taking the third one and then i will change the direction so i'll take this direction which is linear left all right so our donut will look like this now we will add a needle here to add the needle we will take few other support columns so here we will take the value of service level our service level value will be equal to and this value then we will take the needle width so needle width we will take around 0.5 percent or 0.3 percent then here we will take the blank and blank we will take a formula here 150 which is the total minus sum of these two and just close the bracket now we will add this series here in this chart so right click on the chart go to the select data and click on add series this is series one for this donut now we will add another series you can keep the series name as blank by default it will take series two and now here the range we will keep this range click on ok you can change the horizontal category axis you can take this one click on ok now here you can see another donut is available what i will do here right click go to the change series chart type 
and for the series 2 we will take the chart type as pi and we will take this pi on secondary axis and just click on ok then our chart will look like this now select this pi go to the format take the same outline as no outline then right click and go to the format data series and here we will take the angle of first slice as 240 degree then our pie chart will look like this now here in the pie we will make some changes we will select this blue slice first and double click on this and just go to the fill end line and say no fill then we will select this gray slice double click on this and say no fill now the small needle is available here just double click on this and now we will take here solid fill so you can see i'm not able to fill it the first part is filled because it was not selected properly okay let me undo this so again you can select double click if you are not able to select because this size is pretty much small so for the time being what you can do you can take here 10 percent and select this then go to the fill and line solid fill and we will take this color which is the blue because our theme is blue color now we will take border and here we will take the solid line and line color again we will take the same color blue and the bit we can take one point all right now the needle bit we can take 0.5 percent again so our chart will look like this you can change the size of this donut plot all right now what i will do i'll insert a shape here so just go to the insert and insert a shape and we'll take this shape which is the oval shape under basic shapes and just drag a small oval here and just fill the same blue color this one then we will give some preset here so i'll go to the shape effects then i'll go to the preset and we'll select this preset which is preset 7 so our speedometer is ready now if i will make the changes here on n1 for example 45 percent then you can see our chart is getting changed but the animation is not here the second thing is there is no data label here so what i will do i'll select this chart then i'll go to the insert and i will insert here this word art just click and just click here so word art is available here just select this word art go to the formula bar press equal to and connect it with n1 and press enter and change the size will take slightly bigger you can see the format has been changed when we connected it with this n1 so again we will take the same format so just select this go to the format here you can take this you can take the font name as aerial rounded empty pole this one and we will change the font color according to the blue theme so i'll go to the text option here in format shapes and then the background color i'll take the blue one this one and the foreground color i'll take some light blue this one then our shape will look like this if i will change the value of n let's say 75 percent then it is getting changed but there is no animation available here so we have to create the animation now first of all i would like to remove the grid lines from this worksheet so just go to the view and uncheck the grid lines and now i'll change the background color of this chart just select this chart and go to the format and fill the black color or you can fill the shape style also we'll take this one and if you want to take the rounded corner then you can right click go to the format chart area and here we will go to the border and we'll select automatic then we will select this one which is rounded corner so you can see we have the rounded corner now let me shape this first so we will save this as macro enable workbook or binary workbook because we will put some macro also now i'll go to the developer tab and visual basic so this is the macro which is available on the first workbook now i will double click on this seat one so we are creating the macro for book three for seat one this one so double click on this and here we will select the worksheet and here we will select the change now delete this code so we will put our code on worksheet change so our code will be pretty much simple i'll take a variable here dim i as integer then for i equal to i'll take one two target target is the range you can see here target as range so target is the range or the cell 
which has been changed. We are considering this target. Make sure this code should run when this cell will be changed. So we will put a code here also that will be if target dot address equal to dollar app dollar one then and if and here we will put our code for i equal to one two and then we will put here target dot value and we will multiply it by 100 we have to change the speed so we are multiplying it by 100 next i now here what i will do take range and one dot value equal to and i will take here i and i will divide it by the same value which is 100 at the end we will put here the final value because here let's say if the value is 85.653 and we will multiply it by 100 then still the value will be in decimal so what i will do here i'll use int formula so it will take only an integer from this value at the end i will take here the finally once this loop is completed n value should be the target value Alright, so inside the loop you can put do events or bba dot do events so that whatever changes will happen it should reflect on worksheet. Now let me change this value. Let's say I'm taking 75. Then you can see some animation here. 99. If you want to change the speed, so let's say if you are saying this is very fast, so if you want to make it shallow, you can change the value here. So just increase this value, let's say I am multiplying by 500 and here also, then the speed will be slower because the loop value will be increased, so it will take little more time. So let's say here I am taking 85, then you can see it is slower. And if you will put here value, let's say 1000, then it will be more slower. Here I am taking 40. Alright, so. You can put here 100 or if you want to put here 50 you can put here 50 also it will be faster 85 all right friends so that is how you can create this code and you can put this code on worksheet activation also you can take here worksheet activate you can simply copy this code and you can put this code here but here the target value will not be available in place of target value we will take f1 so we will use here range f1 in place of target dot value and similarly here also multiply by 100 not 50 50 is too much faster similarly here also now if i will add a worksheet here let's say and i will go back to the seed one okay we have not declared this variable here so let me take dim i as integer delete this code now run this run it again so you can see some animation all right friends so that is how you can create this animated speedometer chart i hope you have enjoyed this video friends if you really like this video please hit the like button please subscribe my channel to get the regular update of my videos thank you so much for watching